Mr. Speaker, thank you for calling up Amendment 12622. Today we have an opportunity to serve the children and families of this Commonwealth by advancing legislation that will improve the quality of their schools and their educational experience. We have an opportunity to treat educators as the professionals they are and as they deserve by putting in place an evaluation system that provides them with useful and meaningful feedback that will help identify best practices, allow for the sharing of those best practices, and provide struggling teachers with the help and the feedback they need to improve in their craft. We have an opportunity here today with this amendment to better ensure our young people are prepared for the future that awaits them and equips them to be active participant and productive members of our communities. Education is an economic issue. This is a jobs issue. Solid research points to the dramatic impact, long-term financial impact a teacher can have on a student. I contend this amendment and the underlying bill that it supports strengthens and is good for students, good for teachers, and good for the long-term economic health of this Commonwealth. The amendment that I offer today is the result of many discussions, the collaboration of educators, administrators, legislators, and policymakers over the course of many months. The House Education Committee held a public hearing and extensive debate. The members of that committee, both the majority and minority chair, are to be commended for their work and the time that they've given this issue. There's an ongoing state pilot program with 119 school entities and 5,000 teacher participants. And I've interacted regularly with the teachers taking part in this pilot. The amendment I offer today is a reflection of those conversations and the input received. The amendment adds clarifying language that ratings won't be based solely on student test scores because that was never the intent. The intent is to base half of a classroom teacher and principal's evaluation on multiple measures of student performance. Multiple measures, including but not limited to achievement on assessments, PVAS growth measures, and numerous elective measures chosen at the local level that may include things other than tests. Mr. Speaker, we know there are many barriers to student success. But research is conclusive that a highly effective teacher and can and many teachers are all across this Commonwealth overcoming those barriers, whether those barriers be students' own motivation, family situation, or socioeconomic status. It's a highly effective teacher that can shout down the lie that poverty is destiny. Today we have an opportunity to stand with our children and our teachers, and I ask for your support of Amendment 12622.